Tricks. Today I am trying another puzzle game. Uh, this one was not directly posted on the Discord, uh, but somebody on the Thinky Game Discord uh, mentioned that they made a, uh, a puzzle book, and I, I haven't seen too many of those. Um, and I, I just recently made one myself. Um, I, I tried to look for, for other puzzle books like this to, um, you know, for, for inspiration and for, for formatting and stuff. So I definitely want to try this out. Maybe I'll make some slight tweaks to my own game based on it. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. This game is apparently called CERT. And let's see. Uh, CERT is a puzzle game book. You'll need a pencil and eraser. And I've heard that um, this works perfectly well. Um, need a pencil and eraser to play through it. Unlike normal books, you do not simply move from one page to the next. Each page has a puzzle to solve. Page solutions are always a single word. When you think you've found the right word, uh, look it up in the dictionary at the back of the book. If you have the right answer, the, the dictionary will show you the number of the page you came from and the number of the page you should go to next. Interesting, like a, a choose your own adventure kind of thing going on here. Um, okay. For example, if you're solving a puzzle on page six, you've determined it's rain. Uh, rain says six to 17. Okay. All right, uh, we should read page 17 next. Yeah, okay. Four? Why is this called four? Turn to page four. Huh, okay. You wake sharply, alarmed by a distant rumble shifting the pile of rough, rubbery balls that seem to be your bed. I'm in, I'm in Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> As your eyes adjust, a narrow room comes into view around you. Ridged metal walls packed with unidentifiable spheres, dimly lit by a small screen and keyboard at the far end. Lying on your lap is a tray marked with letters and a few awkward heavy metal shapes. Some kind of puzzle. Interesting. Yes, draw the three metal shapes in the tray. I figured uh, when you're done, read the letters. Sure. Okay, there's only a couple ways to do it. So the, oh wait. Hold on, that's weird. When you're done, read the letters. What? Oh, without, without overlapping, mirroring, or rotating. Weird that if they're metal shapes, I should be able to mirror or rotate them. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got to do this and this and this. By the way, this is a game jam game. Um, so my expectations are slightly lower than for non game jam games. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too, too disappointed that like there's a weird mismatch between metal shapes and not being able to rotate them. Okay, anyways, uh, we've got O P E N. Um, you know what? This is going to be slightly better in drawboard. Let's move to drawboard. All right, I'm back. Um, okay, so we've got our shapes here. And open. So uh, there's a dictionary at the back. Um, I guess 
I guess the idea is I mark this page. Does it say to do something? Uh, hmm. Okay, hopefully it's okay to mark that bookmark. Um, I guess I don't need to, come to think of it. Uh, I'll just I'll just make a little mark next to pages I've done. Okay, so I look for open in the back. Open, 5 to 14. There should definitely be fake numbers in uh, the other things in case I accidentally look. Okay, 5 to 14. Sorry. Wait, what? I... Excuse me? On page 6... 6 to 17, wait, what? I guess this is considered page 5? It said 5 to 14, right, for open? Open, open, open. Um, open, 5 to 14, weird. Okay, sure, I guess that makes sense. Okay, uh, it, it's weird that, like, just looking at the index, I now know that like G A E uh, is now like probably a solution to something. Um, it's just very easy to. It's really easy to um, to see words. I hope that unusual words like gay that sort of stand out are are all the fake words, and it's the common words that you'd ignore like open that are solutions. Anyways, uh, as I enter the final character, sorry, how did I enter the final character? What am I entering it in? Um, there's ridged metal walls packed with unidentifiable spheres in a narrow room. Okay, there's a small screen and keyboard. Huh. Okay, so I'm in like a weird, rich metal walls packed with, huh, I'm in a weird sphere packing puzzle. Huh, we, it, this does seem to be a packing puzzle. Okay, huh, um, uh, okay. As I enter the final character, the end wall of the metal box opens into a large chamber filled with crates. Okay. Yeah, so these are packing puzzles. Boxes and shipping containers. Uh, packed close enough to make a rat run. Oh, gotcha. A rat hyphen run. Okay. <laughs> a rat run of awkward corridors. Squeezing through and climbing bit by bit, you eventually grab, I eventually grab onto a scaffolding staircase and pull myself above the fray to a large bulkhead door. Is this some kind of ship? The distant rumbles I've been feeling could be waves. Beside the door is another code entry. Yes. Okay. And more of these. Cool. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we've got words here. Crate, drums, boxes, cases, trunk. Uh, back on page four. Palm, Paul, Eon. Sort of words. Interesting. Um, oh, sorry, too far. Okay. Uh, I'll need another password. Hmm. I mean, probably this goes on the bottom. That sounds right. It ends with RK. Um, and then probably this, Bark. That sounds pretty promising. Uh, probably this on top. Interesting. Huh. Okay, so if I do that, I can do this and this, and the X is not used. Curious. 
and bark. Cool. Okay. Got it. Um, okay, 15 embark, I believe. Wait, wait, we're way too far. Okay, uh, embark, uh, to, to wire around with tree skin? 15, 8. <laughs> embark. That's very funny. What, what was open? Open. Exclaimed when discovering a lost bureau? Biro? Bureau? Sorry, where am I going? Embark. Eight. Huh. What is a bureau? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up. Oh, something about a ship. Cold air rushes in as I pull the creaking metal door open. Oh, I do. I do emerge onto the silent deck of an old steamship, and the night winds bite at my skin. I wonder briefly what sea the ship sails on, but a quick look over the side returns a quick answer. N none. A sea of stars. Um, hmm. With no respect for reason or common sense, the ship sails through the endless vacuum of space. It's a uh, space filling. Yeah, space filling puzzles. Huh. Okay, I've I've found a hub. Fill in the home icon. From now on, at any time, I can go here and start reading. Okay, interesting. Cool. Continue on the next page. Okay, what the heck is a bureau? Uh, what? It writes with a ballpoint? Oh, a ballpoint pen. Huh. Oh, open is what you say when you're messing with a ballpoint pen and it's not working. <laughs> okay. Um, on the deck at the floor of the ship are three more letter trays. Ooh, okay, okay. Cool. This time it's not clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some, sure. Odd markings. Oh, I see. There's some hexagons. Okay. Interesting. Right, and we've got some twos and threes. Okay, I suspect I know what those are. Okay, we can tackle them one at a time. Just beyond the bow is a steering wheel, ornamental, presumably. Mounted incongruously in the center is a small keyboard. Enter a course. Cool, so we can go to three different places. Nice. Each piece is used in exactly one puzzle, of course. Yes. Okay. Got it. Cool. Um Man, this is this is great. I love I love this concept. Uh and I'm kinda glad it's not taking itself super seriously, that it's letting me know right off the bat there's some magical realism. Uh, there are some some games looking at you, uh, I don't know, Dong and Rampa, that are that sort of take themselves very seriously, or or nine nine nine. That that's what this is reminding me of nine nine nine. Um, it sort of takes itself very seriously, and then eh, I guess nine 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 wasn't too bad, but some some of those games get very silly after a while. So I'm glad this this game is sort of getting abstract and magical early on instead of leading me on to think there's some rational explanation for all of this. Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, okay, so clearly let's, let's mark this one orange. Let's keep doing orange for now. Um, clearly this, right? So, uh, and then, hmm, interesting. Hmm. Okay, so we've done that. That's for sure correct. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Um, oh, six across. That's what's going on. Okay. Uh, okay, this is three, six across. Okay, and now I've got this. 
Yeah, because I was confused. How would that second piece fit anywhere? Three, four, five across. Okay, here we go. West. West. Okay, now it could be quest with a K, uh, but that seems unlikely. I'll put a little question mark there just in case, uh, but we're not going to look up quest. We're going to look up west in case we, unless we have a really good reason. West, a more casual waistcoat. <laughs> All right, 11 to 30. Wonderful. Um, I, I, I do quite like this dictionary. Okay, before I even have a chance to wonder, right, we're charting a path west, got it. Uh, whether compass directions have meaning in space. <laughs> the ship veers wildly to one side and charges into the deep black. Soon enough it slows again, pulling alongside a set of tracks, with a fashionable locomotive running over them. Within its passenger cabins, row after row of thin, scaly humanoids in black suits and bowler hats scribbled diligently on large sheets of inky black paper. With an expression of disgust, one of them throws their paper sharply out the window. It lands on the deck, and I curiously pick it up. Uh, the writing means nothing to me, but the, the structure resembles a newspaper. Hmm. And the format <laughs> of these creatures entertainment seems familiar. Okay, we're doing a little newspaper column. <laughs> okay, uh, they're hoping I'll solve their newspaper puzzle. Uh, numbers next to column indicate the number of different pieces. Gotcha. Okay. Area rail from afar. Cool. Okay, uh, indicate the number of different pieces that should be placed. Okay, nothing, excuse me, um, nothing gets placed here. Hmm. Um, okay, let's see, a kitty cat's whining at me, one sec. All right, I'm back. The cat has been satisfied for now. Um, actually, sorry for being mean to 999. Uh, from, from what I vaguely recall playing it as a teenager quite a while ago, um, I don't know, 10, 10 years ago, uh, 999 is actually pretty cool. Don't, I hope I didn't spoil it for anyone. It, it's fine. The ending's fine from what I recall, sort, sort of, it, it's basically fine. Uh, don't play Danganronpa though. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, we're, we're going to the west. Uh, we've got some aliens, and they've got a newspaper puzzle. Now, interesting, if there's three pieces in this column here, um, hmm, um, We can't, we can't use the vertical ones. So in fact, we have to use all three of these in this column right here. Um, so we have to use this one and this one, which I'll just write as an X. And one of these two. Uh, for this thing here. Um, okay, now we've got to do this. Sorry. This. Let's just draw it like that. Okay. Uh, roar, I guess? It could be E or or roar. Oh, you know what we do know? We know this. I see. Cool. Because of this one clue. Okay, so that's everything. We've got roar. That like a, an alternate way of spelling rower according to this silly dictionary. Roar. Telltale call of a hyper beast. A hyper beast. Um, 
Telltale will call for Hyper Beast 31 to 12. I see something strange in the dictionary, but I won't I won't look at it yet. Okay, I hand the completed puzzle back to the figure through the window. It studies it silently and howls approvingly. Sweet, I get to go on the train. Um everybody else is busy. Um my new friend uh point toward the front of the train, uh, and then returns its attention to its own puzzle paper, swallowing it whole. Hmm, okay, sure, that's, that's fair. Recycling. Uh, I make my way through the shaking carriages, silent except for the scritching of pencils, until I arrive at a closed door at the very front of the train. This must be the driver's cabin. There is no handle, but a note is pinned. Of course, the note is a puzzle. Oh boy. All right. Um, okay, we've got nothing here. Nothing here. Um, now, this piece here is curious. It can only go here or here. Hmm. Okay, let's let's do some counting. Uh, four plus three plus three is ten, so this is thirteen, and we've got uh, eleven uh, plus five, sixteen. Okay, so we have three three empty spaces in addition to what we've already got. Hmm. Oh, oh, it can't be down here because of this too. Okay, yeah, this this wouldn't make any sense. That would that would be a a, a one right there. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's redraw this as this. Here we go. Temple, like example or something. Temple, it's temple. I can already figure out it's temple. Um, well, maybe maybe not actually. Um. Okay, let's let's solve it. Let's use some logic. Um, okay, two. So all we really have left here is this two to use. Um, and by the way, we can only have two blanks between the top and the bottom here, because there's definitely going to be a blank in one of these spots. We've only got a single singleton. Um, now, hmm, um, yeah, so this, this two here is interesting, because I can't put the horizontal in there. That's no good. Uh, so I have to use one of the L shapes. Oh, so I have to either somehow use two L shapes, which is impossible. There's only five spaces here. You can't fit two L's in there. So I actually have to use this. Interesting. That's weird. Really? That can't be right. Wow, I, I guess that's right. Huh. Uh, I can't even fit this L shape down there. That's just not going to work. I mean, I could do it here, but that doesn't work with the two, and that's the only place it goes. So we, we have to be doing this. Um, this has to go here. What the heck? What? Um, wait a minute. No, sorry. Sorry, not there. Sorry. Uh, it has to go here to satisfy the two clue. Um, and then this has to go here. Okay. P ploy. Okay, like employ, I guess. Okay. Uh, now, uh, this can only go in one of these two, and we need to fit this in as well, so clearly it's here, right? We have to fit five dots into five spaces. Clearly this is the only uh, configuration. All right, employ. Cool. Yeah, I, I thought for sure it would be like temple or something. 
That was, that was good. Oh, I guess it couldn't have been. There was no E's down here. Okay, anyways, it's employ from page 13. Uh, employ, enact a cunning plan. <laughs> All right, 13 to 26. As I speak th the word, the door slides open to reveal nothing. No driver, no controls, just a plain spotless cabin. Ooh, I get to drive? A small dedication plaque is fixed to the uh, sorry, a small dedication plaque fixed to the wall reads Galactic Express, uh, constructed um, July of um, uh, a while uh, from now. Uh, um, <laughs> 20,000 something. Uh, why, why couldn't they have just picked a, a date? <laughs> Property of Space Limited. Limited liability companies still exist. Okay. Uh, there is always a fourth way. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder if this is going to be important. Let's let's highlight this. Is this just a joke, uh, or is there something interesting here? Hmm. I guess that's the one issue with being a little goofy. Is uh, I can't tell if there's an intriguing mystery going on here, uh, or if it's just a joke. So that's a little unfortunate. All right. Yeah, actually, I, I guess I do prefer mysterious, more mysterious things. Okay, in the center of the plaque, attached with gum, is a small trigonal bobble of metal and crystal. Okay, a little... Uh, a little, little trinket. Uh, a little triangular trinket, I guess. Um, it's part of a larger object. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I've collected this fragment, and I believe it's uh, a, a, a trigonal one, which I think means like a, a, a four-sided shape, a three-sided pyramid. Um... When I'm ready, return to the hub page. Right. Okay. All right, that was somewhere up here. Um, here we go. Okay, we've already been west. Now, uh, I've confirmed that we're not, we didn't go quest, we went west. Um, okay, and we've learned about these now, uh, which actually aren't what I expected. I thought it would just be how many things are, are filled, um, uh, by pieces. Uh, but no, it's, it's only distinct pieces, different pieces. Um, your pale car or something. Interesting. Uh, I don't know how question marks work yet. Maybe... Huh. Oh, this says skies we usher to. Neat. Um, okay, uh, I guess we'll do the second one since we haven't learned about question marks yet. Um, hmm. Oh boy, there's sure a lot of L's. So these L's here, uh, I can only fit two of them tops into each puzzle. So at least one needs to go in each puzzle. Um, I don't know how much that helps. Hmm. Wow. Um, okay, well, we do have quite a few clues. Um, oh, this is interesting. Uh, this two row 
and this three row um, cannot share pieces. There's no piece that's four units tall, right? There's no way for like one piece to uh, to to uh, fit in both of those. Um, so there's at least five pieces, which leaves only up to three pieces for the other one. Interesting. Um, hmm. Gosh. Um, so I haven't learned about the hexagons yet. Hopefully that just means the hexagons will be later on? Hmm. Um, I'm going to take a moment to see if maybe I missed something. So I went west. No, no, that's going to be a pain. Never mind. Um, okay, I should be able to solve this, right? Like, um, I mean, these threes are pretty restrictive. I'm hoping this can be logically solved. Um, We do have this two right here, um, but it's not that restrictive, right? Like I can I can use the L's with this. I could even use two of the L's, um, so that's kind of unhelpful. Uh, and I have this here. Oh, oh. Uh, I have this here, which is too helpful. <laughs> Okay, you know what, here's something helpful. Not only are there a maximum of two of those backwards L's in here, but there's a maximum of two L's total. I can't fit three L's like that in here. So actually, I was saying there were three L's, but no, there's four. I, I wasn't counting the upside down one. Um, now, out of the, those four L's, only two can fit in here. So there must be at least two in here. And then I wonder, uh, okay, we could fit three. Yeah, we could fit three in here. Hmm. Okay, so there could only be one. So there's, there's, there's one or two else here. That's not super helpful. Two to three else up here. Not great. Um, let's see. If we count these all up, the L's make 16. Uh, plus 3 and 3, that's 22. 24, 25. Okay. Um, 25 and... Uh, I know the sum of 2 squares is 25. Th this must be 27 total. Sorry, 28. Um, yeah, there's 28 squares here. 25 of them are being used, right? Uh, 16, 22, 25. Okay, three squares are not being used. Uh, not including this one that we already have. Three more squares. Okay, um, I'm going to take a minute to think about this and sip my tea. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I won't pause the video. Um, if the dev is watching, they might be curious how long it takes me to think. Oh, here's a heads up. If there's like a silent stretch of the video and you, you're worried that it'll go on for a while, uh, you can check the transcript, uh, and it'll probably tell you. Mm, there might not be a transcript. This might be too long. Never mind.
I'm wondering, I was thinking this earlier very briefly, and I, I don't think I mentioned it. Um, I wonder if it's fair, now that we've seen West, should I just assume that these are going to be like North or South or, or, or East? Although it doesn't look like that's right. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that, that just doesn't work. Um, yeah. Huh. Those threes must be helpful. Um, but we have that little one. Okay, so, so, okay, here's, here's the thing. We have a couple of three wide thingies, right? None of them can go, uh, like here or even here, right? If we put a three wide in there, it's two pieces maximum in there. So, could a three wide piece, the, the only place a three wide piece could go is here or here. Um, I'm going to ignore this too, I think. So without loss of generality, let's say we put one here. Um, what are we doing now? Well, we need two to three L pieces, right? That's what we proved a moment ago. I'm glad I wrote it down because I wouldn't have been certain. <laughs> um, so how are we fitting the Ls? We're not, right? An L has to pass through the center. So it, it has to go something like this. Um, right, and if it, if it's here, you know, it'll, it'll have to go like this. Uh, we're not going to get our two to three L's. So actually, uh, thankfully we've proven that both of these need to go in this puzzle, which I'll call the purple puzzle now. So, uh, that makes things a bit easier, um, because when both of those have to go in the purple puzzle somewhere, you aren't left with much room for an L, right? It's, it's something like that, um, right? Two of the rows, however you do it, two of the rows are just going to have one thing left over, and you're going to have to use those as part of your, your single L. So, uh, we have now proven that we have one L here and three L's up here. Um, and the three L's up uh, in puzzle two, this puzzle with the nice two on top. Um, puzzle two, uh, I don't know if it's officially puzzle two, but that's what I'm calling it. Puzzle two, uh, it has to have three L's, and they, they can't all be the same type of L, right? We went over that before. Uh, that's that's just not going to work in any way. So, um, uh, we have to use this piece in Puzzle 2. Um, so, Puzzle 2 has to have three... Sorry. I, I said that wrong. Sorry. We have to use this piece in puzzle two. Um, because we can't use all three L's. All three backwards L's. Right? One of those backwards L's has to be purple because I can't have all three of them being red. Okay. So, uh, this is looking pretty good. Um... We know most of our pieces. Um, hmm. Now, oh, I think puzzle three is actually maybe a lot easier than puzzle two. You know, the purple puzzle is a lot easier. Um, we, we've got to fit an L in here. So, uh, it's not going to be like this. We won't be able to fit our horizontals. It has to be like this. And then our horizontals go here. Um, 
So, uh, YL does not sound good. Oh, by the way, we've got this question mark. YL question mark sounds very unlikely. Uh, but UP question mark. Wait a minute. Mm, we don't know what the hexagons mean. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, the, the hexagons could mean something. It could be YL. Um, I've, I've thought of one case uh, where I think... Yeah, I've thought of one case where, where that would actually make sense. Um, let's not sequence break. Should we sequence break? You know what? I'm going to sequence break. Um, I think the answer to this solution is the word... Oh, I see quest in there. Uh, no, it's not. Okay. Um, oh, well, there's a couple things it could be. No, it's, it's not in there. Um, okay. Um, okay, you know what? I want to see what the answer to quest is, because that sounds very funny. I'm sure there's just no, nothing given. Quest. I know you know that's not a real word. Try again. That's great. Lovely. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> this is this is a lot of fun. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, okay. So we need to solve puzzle two here. Um, and that'll tell us about the question mark, so we can solve puzzle three. Um, we've got red, these three red things. Um, oh gosh. Um, so theoretically, we don't even need two of them uh, to make it three, right? Theoretically, we can do this this. Sorry. Uh, oh, that's interesting. All three of the L's have to pass through the middle. Yeah, no matter what we do, our three L's are going to be passing through uh, the three here. So this, this three clue uh, is totally meaningless. Uh, not, not helpful at all. Um, Oh, that is interesting, though. Yeah, both of the middle rows, iron and bags, are both going to have all three L's passing through them. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we do learn a little bit from that three. We learned that it's not a four. Yeah, it could have been a four. That's what the three is there for. Okay. Um, so... I need to take another sip of tea. Okay. Um... I, um, huh, gosh, um, I guess there aren't that many ways to fit three L's into here, um, okay, here's something interesting, the, the two similar L's, um, are the two matching L's sort of have to go here. They can be shifted up and down, but they... No, that's not true. No, I'm sorry. They can go like that. Yeah, right. It could be like this, 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 for example. 
Hmm. Um. How do I do this? Um. Right, so like one option is, oh, I see. Okay, we've got a three at the bottom. That's actually really helpful because if the L's touch the bottom, uh, and by L's I mean not upside down. I should call this a wa. We've got an L and a wa. Two L's and a wa. Uh, so if the two L's, um, if the two L's touch the bottom, they have to touch the bottom like that, and that's impossible. So only one L can touch the bottom. So our only possibility is one L and two other pieces touches the bottom, or none of the L's. Well, if it's none of the L's, it has to be the wah and the singleton and the double. That could be. Um, yeah, I was thinking it couldn't, but it, it could be. So it could be that, or it could be one L, in which case it's one L and the wah and the singleton. It could be that too. Uh, either way, we know that the wa is going somewhere on the bottom here. Right? If it doesn't, there's just not enough space for other stuff. Right? It would have to be L, singleton, and double. But that doesn't fit. Okay, so the wa is at the bottom. So that's interesting for the three, right? The three can no longer have the double in it, right? The three has to be the wah, and then uh, it might be two L's or an L and a singleton. Okay, there's still possibilities here. Uh, we know the wah is not included in the two things at the top. Um... Huh, this is quite tricky. Yeesh. Um, I hope I'm not supposed to be like guessing and checking. Uh, this this puzzle book has has impressed me so far. Um, so I I I think it's going to be logical. So far, it's been logical. Um, I I wasn't expecting it to be quite so logical, but I was able to figure out. Uh, that the wall must go on the bottom with only like a little bit of um, bifurcating, I guess. Um, okay, so there's one L here. Right, so we've already figured out. I, I, I guess I'll leave it for posterity. Um, huh. Um... We know there's no empty spaces at the bottom. That's not really helpful though. Right, the bottom is a wa and there can only be one singleton. And then the rest would have to be either an L or a double. Or you know, a domino. I should call it, I guess. Um whatever. Um right, so it always looks something like this. Um, and by something like this, I mean it can look dramatically different, like that. Um, so many possibilities. Um, wow. Okay, we have two L's. That should be important, right? If we place the Wa over here, uh, then that actually doesn't work. We can't fit two L's. Uh, I can just sort of see that. I don't. I don't know how to prove that, but clearly. Um, now what? Oh. Now what if the wall goes here? Uh, we can fit an L around here, but there's actually no place else. So we've actually placed the wall. It goes right here. 
Um, now, two L's. That's neat. I believe they have to go here and here. I guess, I guess there aren't that many ways to fit a wall and two L's in. No, that's not true. If the wall could have been on top, there were lots of options. But once we figured out it wasn't, there weren't as many. Cool. Okay. Wow. This is a really good logical, step-by-step -step logical deduction kind of thing. Whew. Um, yeah. Okay. And these are all in the corner. I appreciate that it's... It's pretty impressive that um, simultaneously we have real words going across the rows, and we have good logic, and we have nice symmetrical pieces here. Um, I don't know how arbitrary these words are. They must be somewhat arbitrary, because otherwise I feel like it would be very difficult to make these, especially for a game jam. Um, okay, so we have IGT. Oh, right, I guess. <laughs> oh, the word right. Uh, okay, we're done with this, we're done with this. I mean, it's got to be right. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, at this point, it's not logic. At this point, it's just clearly. It's that, and then I guess we're fitting this in. Okay. Um, cool. Right. Um, okay, right, 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 right. Red is gray is yellow white. What? Red is gray is yellow white? Are, are these going to matter? Oh, by the way, I, I'm going to star this because I'm coming back in a moment, but uh, hold on. I saw a filled in um, hub. <laughs> you pull off the headset of your immersive reality gear, uh, taking care not to get any probiotic fluid in your eyes. The invigilator is watching you with a friendly expression. It's good to take a break when you can. <laughs> Um, perhaps you're done for now? Hmm. Whenever you're reading a page with a bookmark symbol in the top right corner, you can fill in or erase that symbol anytime, or when you return to the book after a break, you can go to any page with the filled in symbol. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh, to return to the simulation, turn to a bookmark or hub. Okay. <laughs> cool, so if you get lost and you forget to fill in a hub, there's this. Cool. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. So that's, that's the idea behind this. We're in VR. Sure. All right. Now back to, uh, the place I starred, which is basically the same as, uh, a bookmark. Okay. I worry briefly whether it's bad form to say starboard. Oh, you know, you know what? We're, on, we're about halfway done, I think, right? We've done sort of one and a half of the areas. Uh, let's let's stop here. Um, call this episode one, and I will be back very soon for episode two. Uh, this has been uh, Jeremy playing uh, CERT. C-E-R-T, whatever that means. Uh, I'm certain we'll find out. <laughs>